Hello everyone and welcome back to my city. You can see we're flying over the dockyard, but today we are going to be building my villager breeder. Basically, uh, I've got stuff that isn't very good, my armor and that, and I thought if I try and get the trading on the way, I can start getting good tools, good equipment and everything. So we'll fly over here, and this is basically where we're going to put the location for our villager breeder. You can see this spot across the castle, it's a nice little spot, we're going to clear out this area, and we're going to build this little uh, dirt platform that will form the place where the two villagers uh, pick up the carrots and then they breed with one another. This is a 9x9 block with the center being a water block. This will then be hoed out and you'll place all your carrots in it and this is where the two villagers will be entrapped. Just getting the resources you can see here I'm putting stone bricks all the way around the edges to add an emphasis to this this build rent then outside of this area I will build a building we're currently placing a white white glass that will go around the build which will be two blocks high this will prevent any villagers from escaping we're placing a composter in the middle and then placing a glass block on top and on this side over here we've put an opening in which we will put trap doors one above and one below this means that the villagers will think there's a block there and they'll try and escape through that block but due to the fact it's only one block high only the baby villagers will escape so flying over here you can see I've basically had the villagers in here I've been using carrots and I've been putting beds in here so I can get them to breed so I can get a multiple amount and then two of them will be transported into this villager breeder so I'm just transporting them out I've got to force them out with the little gate I made a hole in the wall and I've basically used a dirt block to direct them outside Just clearing up all the stuff so you can see all the gubbins is going away so that it goes back to the landscape and you can see that the two villagers have been put inside this place I've used beds to draw them across so when it's night time they try and run towards the bed to sleep and then I close it off I've now started to hoe the ground place all the carrots and if you haven't got enough carrots you can then just do a bit of it slowly wait for them to get all of them and then add more later then around the edges what I'm going to do is put three stone blocks outside from the, the kind of the base of this breeder and then that's outside this three blocks I will basically place this structure see this is basically the glazed area here where the baby will jump into the water will direct it down this tunnel and right at the end once it grows into an adult the head will appear into the next part of the water and that the adult will then escape out of it and into a separate part. These adults can then be later distributed into a villager trading hall uh, in which I will try and work on in the future. Just so everyone knows, I used Logical Geek Boy of uh, his tutorial to get this this villager breeder and it works efficiently I'll add the link below so you guys can all build it using it block by block but this is basically a video where I wanted to show a building that could be built around it and you will see that coming up This is the bit where I'm basically building up the, the minecart dispension system. Where the minecarts will be trapped inside and then this is where they will escape the building 
and be able to transport elsewhere where I've actually built this village as trading hall. Now that the contraption is finished, I can now work up this building that will sit around this structure and then that way when you run inside this building it kind of encases this build. So I built the stone blocks three blocks out and that's where I started to use these polished stone blocks externally and then that acts as a structure. I've tried to work out a grid that will go around the building that's centralised to the centre block of this villager breeding. See that I started to build the blocks up high and I'm building using oak slabs to get a sort of balcony level so that you could run on the, the first floor above and then look inside to watch these two villagers breed and see how the, the build works. It's just stairs going up you can see I'm just trying to work out how I'd get up using these stairs I'm trying to work out the frame so using these structural columns and then work out this dark oak beams that will connect these columns just made a slight error there so I'm now fixing up because it wasn't central to that centered block see this is basically working all the way around I always work on the structural structure first to understand how the grid system works trying to get a, a design into it and then eventually within these structural frames I can then fill out different materials that can complement the build but then also you can work out how you can put glazing in certain views of the build see the upper floor's got the balcony and I've also used oak inter I mean the dark oak internally and this will be form the structure that holds this balcony up I've now started the roof of the build and you can see that what I wanted to do is I wanted to do one block and then stairs on top and then we do another one block and stairs on top so that way it goes up by two but as that was too steep of the build because I quite like that steep we've done just one straight block up and you can see that we've done the oak stairs in between this structure here although due to the depth of the build and the large plan I couldn't do the height of the build but also this this sort of style of the roof is a little bit eccentric for this build. It may be something I may revise later on, but at the moment this is kind of the best thing I wanted to do for the time I had. You can see I've put dark oak on the edges as a structural frame, uh, tried to do a little bit of cobble just to give that sort of variation, and then we've used this oak, slat, oak stairs in between. Then right at the top we've put the structural beam that supports the roof, Although feasibly this structural beam would be a lot thicker because of the span of the roof and the height internally. See I've tried to put a sort of dormer style at the front of the build. It'll create this double height space but it also gives some sort of variation to the roof of the structure. You can see panning around I've basically used these stone, the, the plinths at the bottom and I've put a dark oak button on the base because it gives that slight extra detail on it. Running around you can see the roof is nearly done and then we'll be filling in these side walls. And then you can see the villager breeder sits externally where I may possibly do sort of a side extension detail that looks like an extra building because I don't want to make this huge colossal building over the small aspect next to it. 
can see I've put the st little buttons at the top, which is the stone buttons, onto all these kind of dark oak extruding um, components. And now I've started to go around to fill in these components. This is using, in the corners I've used dorite, polished dorite, and then on this, between them I've filled it in with white wool. This detail kind of makes it look like the old style of this wattle and daub and it makes it kind of have a little bit of variation rather than just having one solid material as in uh, dorite or just wool. You can see that's basically it's nearly all finished I just wanted to get this double height space in between trying to increase the height of the windows trying to give some sort of variation underneath this area here then I'm filling it in with uh, white uh, glass panels and this kind of gives a sort of a privacy to what's going on inside but it also makes it a little bit more whiter I potentially will add a little bit more detail or do some sort of recessed components because I'm not entirely sure about the flat face finish but you see running around here there's a slight hole in the roof but this will be fin finished I just ran out of oak Panning around, you can see how I've done the panels and the different components. Below, you've got the four high. Above, you've got the three blocks high. But how they kind of work in sort of comparison of the materials. Just finished off the roof there. Panning around here, it's all near enough done. And that's basically the build. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the build. If you had any comments, feel free to write them below. But if you did enjoy the video, please give me a like. Hope you guys have a nice day. See you, everyone.